Okay, so this is not Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, and it doesn't even say Sahih. So we don't, we could like excuse Islam for this because we don't know if this is like as authentic as the Bukhari or Muslim. But it was interesting. It, it is Islamic Hadith. Uh, I just wanted to highlight it, but we will be less judgmental. We'll be less judgmental on this hadith because it's not Bukhari or Muslim, and it doesn't even say Sahih. I don't know if it's Sahih. Okay. Um, so even if we even if we'll just look at it and we might think like, okay, this is bad, but we don't know if this is part of Islamic canon or not. Okay. So let's see what it says. It's just it's just it's just ridiculous. So I just wanted to show it to you guys, right? It says there is no prescribed punishment for one who has sexual intercourse with an animal. Mm -hmm. Abu Dawood said, "Ata, what's Ata? Ata is also so. I think he should be flogged, but the number should not reach the one of the prescribed punishment." Uh, and this, this guy said he is like a fornicator. Abu Dawood said the tradition of Asim proves the tradition of um, this guy is weak. Okay, so some they're arguing that should we punish this guy? He has sex with an animal, and he's like saying, no, we don't. We don't have any prescribed punishments for people who have sex with animals. And he's like, well, we do have a tradition, but he's saying that tradition is weak. So I guess no. Okay, again, this is not. This is still Islamic hadith, but we don't know how legitimate and authoritative this is. And I actually don't know if I interpreted it right. So take it with a grain of salt. But let's go to something that is authentic again, Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim again, um, which we know this is authentic part of, I mean, authentic not because we think it's authentic. We have no idea. None of this has been proven to be coming from Muhammad, okay? When I say authentic, I'm saying authentic in the eyes according to mainstream Islam. So if if all of this is still bullcrap, it's part of Islamic canon. It's officially Islam. That's what I mean by authentic. They recognize it, they recognize it as authentic, so it's officially Islam. Of, authentic means officially Islam, not that it actually happened, okay? Uh... Oh yeah, so yeah, so ARN is pointing out that this is still part of the six highest Islam, um, hadith collections, part of the six books, but it's not part of the top two, right? It is part of the top six, uh, but it's not part of the top two. The top, a lot of people just trust whatever is in the top six Islamic hadith books, but again, the top six, a lot of them not, are not considered hadith sahih, you know. So that's why it's safer to just. I mean, it, because it's in the top six hadith books, you can still like look at it and criticize Islam for it, to be fair. So good point to ARN. But you would be safer if you just focus with Bukhari or Muslim. Right? Hold on. What are you guys saying? But good point to ARN. Thank you for bringing, up, bringing that up. Uh, ARN saying all the hadiths are the least Yes, 230 years after Muhammad died, none of it can be proven. Yep, that's what I said. None of the none of the hadiths can be traced back to Muhammad. Um, I, I mean, we could do a video on that as well. Like, if you guys are interested in doing uh, some analysis on that, um, that would be interesting as well. Okay, so let's do this. Sahih Muslim. This is the last hadith that I have for you guys. All right, let's see. Um, okay, so. This is happening during a battle. Abu Said Khudra here. Oh my God. It's so hard to read the, the Arabic part because half of it is just a chain of narration. Um, reported this dude. I'm just going to say this dude. Allah, her please with him. Wait. Uh, reported that at the battle of uh, Hani, 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 where is this? I want to see the Arabic. Oh, here. Yeah. Hunayn. The Battle of Hunayn. A lost messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sent an army of, sent an army to somewhere and encountered the enemy and fought uh, with them, whatever, we don't care. Having overcome them and taken them captives, the companions of a lost messenger 
may peace be upon <laughs> seem to refrain from having intercourse with the captive woman because of their husbands being uh, polytheists. Oh, okay. So what was happening, this, this hadith is what's happening is that they captured some slaves during a war and some of the companions of Allah, uh, Muhammad, they were like, yeah, these women that we captured, they have husbands, so maybe we shouldn't screw with them, right? Because they're married. But then, when they were like, you know, so that Allah's messenger were basically had higher standards. No, Allah's messenger, Muhammad's companions had higher standards than Allah himself. So they were like, yeah, we have slaves now, but these slaves have husbands. We probably shouldn't screw them. But then a verse came down from Allah himself like, no! <laughs> no! You, oh my God. Like, it, but the, see, when I tell you Muslims are better than Islam, this was true apparently even at the time of Muhammad. So God got triggered. God, like, you, you I, you, <laughs> You don't, you do not, you go there and you screw those slaves. I don't care if they're married or not. That's what God, a verse came from God, Allah himself because this was so important to Allah. <laughs> oh my God. Sent down, regard. so this is actually referring to a Quranic verse that I highlighted here on Atheist Republic before, telling you that, uh, the Quran telling you that you shouldn't have sex with women, with women that are married unless you capture them in war. So I think this is referring to that verse. But this hadith is providing context to when that verse came down. So this hadith is telling you that that Quranic verse came down when some companions of Muhammad were like, had like, did, their standards were not that high because they were capturing women as slaves, but it was at least high enough to be like, Maybe this is going too far. <laughs> These women are married. And I was like, no, god damn it, you go and screw this place. This is <laughs> you do you do not dare to find me. Like, no, what are you what are you like? These are these are not Muslims. You guys are yeah, because again, again, these are the enemies of Allah's. You have to spread, you have you guys have to show your dominance over the enemies of Allah. These are not married Muslim women, these are where is this? Polytheists. Okay? Their marriages don't count. Their marriage, like, they're married? Were they married in the eyes of Allah? No. No. You go take those sex slaves and you do what you're supposed to do to them. A verse came down for Allah himself to clarify this. Again, guys, this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Islamic hadith. This is Sahih. Say means like authentic, like legitimate, like part of Islamic scripture, like Sunni Islam, accepted part of scripture. See, when I say Muslims are better than Islam, even the original, the OG Muslims even, the companions of Muhammad are the first Muslims. These are the first Muslims. Even the, the OG Muslims were better than Allah. A little bit, a tiny bit.